Jeff Boat, checking out the, the double lake area that we hiked into yesterday. And uh, hoping to see some deer. Maybe we'll spot that, that three pointer on the one side that we saw going back or coming back down. We'll see. And, uh, hopefully, today's the day. Right, Timmy? Right, Nick? for about a few hours, yeah, since about seven or so. And uh, nothing, I haven't heard any answers or nothing going on. It's a shame that the fog's not lifting and, and uh, visibility is pretty limited, but I'm gonna head back, float down the river and see if we can see another moose along the river banks there. Here we are about 10.30 a.m. Got back to the boat. Fog had pretty much lifted off the river. And uh, we're just floating down, hoping to get lucky with a moose on the shorelines like yesterday. It's been really warm days, right between 15, 20 degrees, I'd say. Sunny, just unseasonably be warm. It looks like another another day like that. That evening Nick and I decided to check out some new clearing area and there was a lot of bugs and a lot of moose sign though, so we hung out there for a while calling, hoping to see something come in. While Nick and I were out here with the jet boat, the other guys were out with the trucks looking for moose, and they found something pretty unexpected. By the road down a steep embankment while they are glassing, Tim spotted something on the corner of his eye. It was a moose carcass, but it was fully skinned out, and its head and antlers were missing. Someone had just taken the trophy and dumped the rest of the carcass to rot. Next we have a picture of that, so if you're squeamish, maybe uh, fast forward or look away or something. But it's unfortunate that this happens. In an ideal world, it wouldn't. But this is the current reality we live in. So we're just on. Uh... Morning. But 
set of tracks that was pretty fresh looked like possibly last night or even early this morning hard to say but fresh for sure and uh it's a good shot uh, but uh yeah the wind keeps kind of changing different directions it's kind of frustrating but uh can't control that just uh, keep keep walking along these roads and see where something turns up Take my boot. For the rest of the evening, Tim and I were rolling around the truck looking for moose in the lowlands and swampy areas. There was quite a few other hunters out, so we called it early and headed back to camp. The other guys had set up a sauna by the river using a tarp and heating up rocks with uh, the propane torch we brought. We had a good hot steam and were swimming in the river. The water was pretty frigid. Other guys driving by thought we were nuts and had a good laugh. After our sauna, we headed back to camp. That evening we had a few grouse to cook up that Mika and Mike had shot earlier. It was a tasty dinner and we enjoyed it around the campfire. We still had one more day to hunt the parsnip and we were hopeful that we'd run into a moose. That night it rained for the first time and I don't know about you but for me I love to fall asleep to the sound of rain on the roof of the tent. Day five came and it went. It was much the same. We flowed the river. We were checking the lowlands and swampy areas for moose. A lot of hunters were out and about. We stopped and talked to a couple old timers who had been hunting the area for quite a while. And we learned that this season, it was unnaturally busy. Earlier in September, crowds of hunters had come through and lots of moose had been harvested. So it was no wonder that we weren't seeing the amount of moose that we were expecting to see heading up here north in the Parsnip River. But all in all, we enjoyed it. We had a good time. That evening, we enjoyed a delicious steak dinner and we enjoyed just hanging out around the fire before turning in for the night. The next morning, we were busy packing up camp, loading the trucks, and getting ready for the long drive back home.
On this hunt, we didn't have success, but that's why they call it hunting. But we still enjoyed ourselves being outdoors. It's always a great time. Thanks for tuning in to our adventure, and if you enjoyed yourself, hit the like button and subscribe. 2021 hunting season is just around the corner, and we're just getting started.